hello and welcome back to my youtube channel i'm actually really enjoying this i'm red so red and i've got wet hair because i've just been to aldi hence the title of the video and it was wet and it was cold so we're just gonna go with it in embracing the natural flush <laughs> or whatever people like to call it red tomato cold anyway i went to aldi and i spent a total of I believe it was something like £62. I'm sure I'll find the receipt along the way, but no order to this, but I'm just gonna go through what I got. This is from me. I've had a Daniel, so we live in our own home. Um, £62 is quite a lot for us. Normally I do aim for around 50, but it was one of the big essential cupboard stocking shops. One of them. So £62-ish, I will tell you the exact Pardon the exact amount when I find the receipt. But yeah, starting off milk. So I always buy oh oh yeah. I was gonna say I haven't this time. The filtered milk. Purely because I don't actually drink milk. I don't like it. The only time I use milk is if Daniel's having cereal or someone's coming around for a cuppa. So that's why I get filtered. And you can't get a small up filter one, which is annoying. Anyway, talking too much. Yogurt. Two packs, just the cheapest ones. Daniel seems to like them the most. I'm not really a yogurt person, he is. Um, ketchup, unpopular opinion. It doesn't have to be Heinz here. I don't really eat it enough to care. Um, and it's like, Heinz is like £2.50 and that's like 60p. Cost of living crisis comes, green lentils for my shepherd's pie, um, oranges, wonky, <laughs> if you follow my Instagram you know I always have wonky fruit, grapefruits because they were on the special five or whatever they call it, uh, 30p each, so I've got two I think, might have got three actually, spinach, good for iron, I love spinach, I also have two guinea pigs, they love spinach too, they are spoilt. Coleslaw, reduced fat. Um, Perry rice, when I do like a fake Nando's. Celery for the guinea pigs. Because they love celery. I quite like it as well, actually. Um, bananas or bananas. I will try and get green ones so they last a bit longer. Then broccoli. I should actually move this as far as I actually was going to move this far and just moving this so that doesn't go everywhere i'm hoping my kitchen looks clean i'm not really a fan of these tiles so we've just moved in not really a fan of the tiles but money at the moment um not very exciting toilet pine love pine scented cheese cheddar you'll soon find out that you love cheese um sweet chili i love sweet chili these karma sauce pots love um wholemeal wraps love of that i think it's such a good lunchtime thing oh, noodles um what have we got here right that's the end of that bag but this bird's eye chili wing wing roulette this is medium spice i think this is obviously nando's because it's got the bird's eye chilli bit i think this is just gonna be a fake peri season i'm hoping that's what it is because that's what i bought it for i'm hoping that's what that is papa that was on the special five this week 29p or something i think pasta sauce pots i eat these at the going out of fashion so easy for a quick lunch um mushy peas we love mushy peas in this house right bag number two lovely potatoes um self-explanatory these are good because these are like bigger ones so i thought i could do these as jackets as well as like wedges and roasties i just can't go wrong told you i had three ah the missing receipt was i right with 62 oh 61 83 to be ick zach can you see that lovely she's splurged today another sauce pack Goat's cheese. Fun fact, my mum hates goat's cheese. 
a lot. She can't smell it. So I could never really have it when I lived at home at my parents' house. But I love it. I love cheese. But actually it isn't a cheese that I don't like. Fun fact, I love Stilton. Stilton's my favourite. Iceberg. I wanted the uh, Romanian, but they never have it. They always run out about this time. I don't know why. Everyone's like, fl it's a January health hype, isn't it? I suppose. There's loads of like protein yogurts in that in Aldi. If that's your cup of tea, not really mine. I think they're a bit expensive and a bit what they are. Greek yogurt is just as good and it's so much cheaper. Granny Smith. I wanted Bray Burn apples, but I got them because there wasn't any. I feel like I'm complaining. I'm not. It is what it is. Like I went to Aldi at about six o'clock, half six. What did I expect? Um, pasta, spaghetti, and the essential range. Baby spinach again, another packet. That'll be gone in a few days. Cucumber, cucumber. <laughs> Two. Oh, if you don't know, you need to get to know. Jammy wheels is obviously the Aldi, Jammy Dodger, the tube. These are so good. There's like a little square. Here, I'll open one and I'll show you. You get in. You know, you know, you have a little. There's like four mini ones in there. It's like great for like an afternoon snack with a cup of tea. So, you need to get to know if you don't know. Uh, low calorie Indian tonic water. Might have a cheeky gin tonight. Not too sharp. Um. What else did I get? Uh, uh, avocado. Love avocado. Oh, these were these like shake and bake um, things. I thought these were, these look quite new. I haven't seen them before. I think it was like 40p, 50p. Mediterranean chicken. I thought that with like a roast veg ensemble. Right, come on, I'm fucking now. Last second, that second bag done. And I got some washing powder. I haven't got a problem with Aldi washing powder. It's about half price, if not three quarters cheaper than branded stuff. And it's just as good. Shop smarter. Bread. Welcome mushrooms. Let's move this here. The fajita kit. Ice rings, mini. Just love the snack. Um, these tortellinis. Oh, these are such good cupboard essentials. Like these store in the cupboard, by the way, not the fridge. Oh, I think it's like 50p, and they're so good for like having in the cupboard for like easy, quick meals. A load of veg, tomato sauce, bit of cheese on top. It's such a balanced meal, and it's so tasty and cheap. Um, chicken. They didn't have the 2kg big pack, so I got two 1kg boxes because we, I like I, chicken, Daniel loves chicken. Um, what else did you get? More peppers. Um, what else? Another Perry Rice for me, Nando's Nights. Oh, I feel like you got a good view of my foot then. <laughs> Salt and pepper, marinade. These are definitely new, it says I'm new on them. Spicy chicken. Oh, these look so good. Like, mmm. Delish. Can't wait to try them, actually. Um, I've got another salt and pepper because I love salt and pepper. Another one of them tortellinis. Um, creamy white lasagna sauce. Mushy peas. Again. Uh, last few things now. Lemons. Love lemons i love a herbal tea i love like a peppermint tea or green tea with like fresh lemon slice people do it for like the health reasons it's amazing for you like yeah it's not bad for you but i just do it if i purely love the taste of it but it's good for hydration i find in an evening more celery halloumi and the only frozen thing that i bought today was some veggie sausages because i don't eat red meat but I love doing like a little veggie sausage and then like spinach, mushroom and tomato breakfast thing on a Saturday morning. Um, these are so cheap. These are a Linda McCartney dupe. So Linda McCartney does an oven, onion and rosemary sorry, sausage, which is what these are. The box, I mean, they're like triple the price normally unless they're on offer. And these are just as nice. So if you don't know, get to know. Um, oh, 
my wax smell thank god it wasn't lit but yeah that is everything i have bought today from aldi um yeah 60 pounds i think i bought quite a bit for that i mean it is a bit more than what i would have wanted to spend but i need a bit so like the washing powder was 450 i think and the chicken was 12 pound for both packets so that's like 16 pound more than before you even start so no, i don't need to justify it um let me know if you enjoyed this sorry for rambling i will try and speed it up next time if i do another one but yeah have a lovely weekend <laughs>